This book addresses various themes of gender, subjectivity, memory, belonging, sexuality, hair, and identity by some of the most prominent and emerging female artists from Africa. Now, that's the Kawuri Contemporary African Arts uh, latest exhibition titled Being, uh, Being Here, Meditations on African Femininities, uh, which opened at the Constitution Hill on Wednesday. Now, so some of the artists include Immaculate Mali of Uganda, our very own Zanele Mholi, and Ghana's Zora Opuku. The, the exhibition is curated by Rafil Nkomo and Tatum Khotsi, who join us now to tell us more about uh, being here, meditations on African femininities. Uh, now, Rafil, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, can you thank tell you. us the inspiration behind this book? Well, um, it's an exhibition that's happening at Constitution Hill. So, okay. as you mentioned, it started on the 10th of May, or this yeah. past Wednesday, and it runs until the 9th of June. Okay. And it's featuring 13 artists from across the African continent who are really interrogating what it means to be a woman right now. Mm. Um, the complexities of identity and femininity, um, and just sort of like what it means to exist right now as a female body with all of those challenges, but all of those hopes and dreams and, mm. and the excitement of of being a girl child, um, yeah. growing up into a woman, and, and that experience. Talk to us about uh, the artists who have contributed to the exhibition and what was the process uh, leading to their selection? So it's been um, an incredible process. Mm -hmm. It's myself um, and Tato Mohozi who curated the exhibition with Violet Nandume from Uganda mm -hmm. and Paula Nascimento um, from Angola who mentored us yeah. and we selected 13 artists who focus on the body either having um, themselves within their artwork and turning the lens upon themselves um, both figuratively conceptually um, as well as sort of turning the lens upon other female bodies so even if they don't necessarily use themselves within their their, their artwork they mm -hmm. have other female bodies um, and it's quite a, a, a beautiful act to to think of how the female gaze then develops and changes and um, what a female then understands of another female indeed, or understands indeed. of herself and her own yeah. identity. Now, uh, what are some of the issues that these artists tackle and uh, why do you think so much emphasis or the spotlight is placed on those issues? Some of the issues are around home and belonging. Um, mm. Some of the issues are around sexuality and breaking gender binaries. Um, mm. Some of the issues are just around hair um, and capitalism and various oppressions that um, are functional within our hair, right? Yeah. Um, so they tackle a number of different things, but all of it remains relevant in sort of, in sort of like um, now within the contemporary, but it also has relevance, I think, for the future. Um, and they tackle into things that were in the past, into memory, into the archive, um, into motherhood, and, and how young girls are socialized, and how women um, are socialized, and then sort of like let go of certain tropes, and embrace their own identity, and, and create and formulate their own selves. Yeah, yeah. And the emphasis on the hair, now it brings, it, it, it reminds me of this issue that we have experienced a, a few months ago about uh, the Pretoria Girls High School, yeah. which which uh, brings to furore about uh, you know the black child uh, African hair. Yeah. Why, why that emphasis on, on, on here? Well, I mean, one of the artists that, that really focus on that is a collective um, called Saluni Collective from Uganda. And they do these pop-up salons where um, really they're trying to teach people to embrace their natural hair. Um, and also just sort of all of these things that, um, that, that, that have constructed how we understand hair and how we understand identity. Mm. Um, so capitalism, racism, colonialism. Um, um, so they're touching on all of these things, but they're using hair as a motif to do that through and saying that all our hair is really great. And no matter how you, ha you decide to style your hair, it's relevant, it's important, um, and it's actually okay because it's your identity and yeah, it's how yeah. you want to embrace your own self and how you want to portray yourself to the world. Sure, sure. So the female artist, how do they individually explore the subject of being her and being here? Um, I mean, there's different artists doing different things. Someone like Nandi Pamtambo, for example, who's yeah. a South African artist, yeah. um, she's exploring, again, these sort of like binaries of masculinity and femininity um, and really unpacking sexuality. And, and within all of us exist these ideas of masculinity and these ideas of femininity, and they can all exist in one body. Mm -hmm. um, so how do we then start to break um, these tropes that we have around who is male, who 
who is female and mm. what can men do, what can females do. The battle um, of the sex is basically the sexes coming and, into the spotlight. Yeah. Exactly, and yeah. realizing that actually it's a spectrum, right? And, and, and we exist within that spectrum. So that's one of the artists who's doing amazing things. There's someone like Tabitha Razer, um, who is a South African-based artist, um, but really sort of challenging um, capitalism and colonialism in mm -hmm. this art piece called Sorry for Real, which looks at the politics of an apology. What does that actually mean? Sure. Um, and I think that in our times right now, when um, we have hashtags like men are trash and a lot of men are feeling like they have to apologize for many things, um, what does an apology mean and what does allyship mean? And we're trying to bring those conversations to the fore. So we have a symposium okay. that's taking place on the 20th of May, yeah. where we're really unpacking the exhibition and the you know artists I'm gonna, and the I'm themes gonna, of it. <laughs> Yeah. I'm going to push for another platform for you and me to discuss the very same, like the men are trash and the, the politics of apology, because we definitely need a certain platform, a mm -hmm. different platform for that. But then, thank you so much for your time. Eh? Thank you. It's been a pleasure chatting thank to you. you. All right, that was Rafid and Goma ended. Uh, the, the curator of a contemporary art exhibition by African women artists titled Being Her and Meditations on African Femininities, uh, which opened at the Constitution Hill on Wednesday, and uh, it now runs until the 9th of June. Now